set which can be written in the form of a single sequence. Now you will have a, a range of a random variable in the form of interval or union of intervals. So intervals idea are coming now in order to process continuous random variable. Okay. So what about uh, uh, most of things it will be borrowed from the discrete random variable in the definition manner. But uh, change would be that in the term of omega x that would be a continuous set. Okay. That means that means simply we are unable to write uh, omega x uh, in term of a single sequence. So in computational mathematical form, so continuous random variable you will call it, it is a map from omega that means sample of space everywhere definition looks sim same but the difference is coming here omega x that range of x it is no more a single sequence it is a continuous set continuous set and what is meaning of continuous set means a set where the points appears in the set in a continuum manner. Continuum manner that means if you take two numbers, there is no, ga no gap. You can't find. So uh, interval kind of things are coming. Interval kind of things. So it is a continuous set. In short, I will write it a continuous set. Omega is now a continuous set. It is a continuous set that means you fail to write in a single sequence continuous set or you will call it if you fail to write in the term of a single sequence it is not equal to in the term of a sequence not equal to sequence the countability you can't uh, uh, define in the uh, omega x Countability is not coming directly. So that means here already I have already mentioned says that discrete random variable it takes value either finite or countably, countably in finite number of uh, values. That means those are random numbers in discrete happens to be uh, countable set or simply a sequence simply call it. Now we come to continuous uh, random variable there omega x no more a countable set it is a uh, uncountably infinite set of values that random numbers come uh, come here in the term of in, unco in uncountable manner so what are the uncountable things sets happen to be intervals it contains interval open interval close interval semi close interval union of interval various kind of things okay so once we are having a continuous random variable we will define probability distribution of the continuous random variable so when you talk about uh, a continuous body then how you define uh, mass of the continuous body? What, what is the mass of a body, continuous body? How we define? Density and volume concept are coming. Denseness of the particle in that continuous body, we call it. Density concept is coming here, like that way. So continuum body is there. That's why density concept is concept is coming in case of com computing mass of a continuous body or whole body. Okay which is compact in nature or solid body what you call likewise if you are willing to compute uh, uh, so de their density is very much important density varies in a continuous body you will see that density varies where density is very less uh, that uh, object can be uh, easily broken and something like that you can uh, convert that into pieces something like that where density is lower and when, when density is higher uh, it is difficult so density varies so what you talk about in the similar way we will define here uh, for probability case we will define uh, probability density function. So what is probability density function? It is talking about uh, probability per unit length. If you are taking a linear body, a rope kind of things. So and if you are taking a linear body, how you will define mass of uh, or density of that uh, body? Mass per unit length. Mass per unit length. So likewise, if you are taking uh, random numbers which are distributing along a line in continuous fashion, then how you will define probability uh, of that of density, probability density of that uh, uh, random numbers, uh, you will define probability per unit length. So unit length, that probability per unit length, that means you are taking a length delta and you divide it, uh, it from probability of 
uh, x observing between x and x plus delta. So here, here because uh, the random variable is taking uh, numbers from intervals. So if you talk about a specific point, it is very difficult to find the probability of one a specific point. Probability of one a specific point is zero that we had already seen in module one. Okay. So here we will not talk about probability of a specific point. We will talk about probability of an interval. So if you are talking about a random variable x, which is observing value between x small x and x plus delta, there would be a width, width that delta is the width, x plus delta. So we are getting an interval. So how you will define density of uh, uh, probability density for this interval, probability of observing uh, the random variable between x and x plus delta divided by delta. And delta happens to be infinitesimal, infinitesimal small. That means as small as possible. Why? Because we are talking about continuous uh, fashion. Like uh, derivative, definition of derivative, you all might have already seen that. Their definition of derivative, how you are defining? Uh, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, and where h limit of h, that uh, quotient limit h tends to 0. And then we say that it is defining derivative. That it comes to define slope of the tangent touching that uh, given curve at a given point. Okay. So, in the similar fashion, we are defining probability density as a, it is as a uh, limiting value of the probability per unit length. This we will read it how we will say that density is what Proba probability per unit length okay. uh, and limiting fashion. And when suppose here delta is very small, simply we can say that f of x is approximating this ratio probability per unit length when delta is very small. So you can say that when delta is very small, probability that x is observing value between x and x plus delta, it is approximately what? Probability, probability density function time delta. The probability density function, it could be height of the continuous uh, distribution of the random number, okay? Uh, or continue, continuum random numbers, you can call it. Height of the continuous random random. Like you can say that uh, if you are taking, someone is saying that, uh, okay, the, here numbers are coming here, like, what is meaning of these things? So there are various number. Then number here coming like this one. Okay, uh, we are taking linear uh, representation of random number. So here, what you observe in this segment, you observe there are many numbers. What does it mean? Density is more. We will say density is more. And if you say here, how many points do you observe? Very, very few points you observe. If you come in left hand side, how many points you observe? Very few points you observe. What do you say? Then left and right hand side density is small. Density is a small. Where density you observe uh, larger in this region? You observe there are various points. There are various points. Okay. So uh, how you will represent in terms of probability density? So density will take a plot of height. It is talking about so it is coming like this way. That means here you observe here uh, largest height. What does it mean? The, the, at this point uh, points are there is a cloud cloud of points. Points are very much concentrated. Lot of points you observe here. That's why you say that here density is high. That means height is larger. Okay. Another density is one way of representing um, by a function f of x. And it is saying that if you, uh, the f of x is having higher value, what does it mean? Here points are, point cloud are very much dense in nature. Okay. And if you t say that here height is small, why? That means here we say that point cloud are uh, smaller. That uh, point are points are that uh, uh, random numbers are distributed rarely. That not density is no high, not high, uh, no high. Okay. Likewise, uh, so this is the way of defining density of a continuous random variable. So density is what probability per unit length. Probability per unit length. So through that you can, we say that. So if we are taking about density, then what we observe. Uh, density defined as limiting limit lambda tends to 0 probability per unit length. Uh, here, what probability is always greater than or equal to 0? What am I true or not? Probability greater than or equal to 0? And also uh, uh, delta, delta is coming here. Delta is also greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. So, what happens? So, density would be always greater than or equal to 0. It is talk talking about ratio of two positive number non-negative number. So, uh, f of x would be always greater than or equal to 0. Also, it would be piecewise continuous. 
piecewise continuous later we will talk about now further if you talk about if you talk about uh, uh, integration of the density of for all value of uh, x what would be that that means here f of x is what it is approximately equal to uh, if you talk about uh, probability per unit length okay if you substitute it then it is talking about total probability probability in the complete uh, for all possible red, uh, random numbers so it would be equal to 1 are you getting meaning of this or not so this we call it normalizing probability that means what is this one f of x times d of x dx d of x is what delta x delta what you call it delta width so it is talking about infinitesimal and when you talk about integration that means you are summing for all x yours and x is coming in continuum manner so that's why summation is turned into integration summation okay so you are summing all the probability this one is the probability uh, at a point in at a point in in a, in a neighborhood a point with width delta fx so this quantity is talking about probability of what if you talk about here in place of uh, uh, delta you can take uh, uh, dx this one is x and uh, this one is x plus dx x plus dx okay in place of delta take dx so that's why it is probability that uh, random numbers you observe between x and x plus delta x okay so that is that is the probability f of x into dx and if you talk about all possible x then you you are talking about integration from minus infinity to plus infinity that means it is normalizing property the integration would be equal to 1 so integration of density from minus infinity to infinity equal to 1 and the third property is that what so here that few value of random numbers are given to us and we are willing to compute probability of those random numbers given which is uh, given in the region b okay so this one is complete uh, uh, distribution of random number uh, random variable x or random numbers and in this we talk about this region this region is b so how you will compute probability over this region just integrate the density function over b and you will get probability of observing uh, value of x which are in b so that is third one is it is way of computing probability of a uh, few random uh, numbers but remember that when whenever you are talking about few here all things are coming in continuum fashion so no summation only integration would be there so integration is just extension of summation so everything we have translated in term of integration okay now here if you talk about uh, what are the possible form of set or events what are the possible form of events so you can take event b might be an interval a b or b might be an interval uh, minus infinity to plus interval in, in infinity or b might be a singleton set if suppose you are taking b is an interval from a to b what does it mean so you are if you are willing to compute probability of the event b what does it mean that means you have to integrate the density function from a to b where b is an interval a to b no so we have to integrate the density function from a to b in order to compute the probability of b so this is the probability of b by integrating the density function from a to b okay and if you are willing to see in the form of uh, discretization uh, approach uh, limit uh, integration as a limit of summation as a limit of summation this uh, you can relate it like that okay and how f of, f of x is related with the probability so you can see the relation okay likewise if you are taking your event b is minus infinity to infinity then how, what is the probability of b that means you are integrating the density function over b and that means b is what from minus infinity to infinity that means you are integrating density function of from minus infinity to infinity and what is the integral you are talking about sum of all possible probability of the continuous random num values okay so that means that sum would be equal to 1 if your b is minus infinity to infinity the sum would be equal to 1 if you are taking b equal to single density b what does how you will compute probability of b that means you have to integrate the density function from a to itself what is the integral of a to itself of a, any function what is the integral zero that means there is width there is a height no width width is zero so it would be zero so that's why probability of a singleton set point singleton point 
uh, it would be always 0 in case of continuous random variables. So, uh, you have already seen the continuous random variable and the corresponding characterization of a random variable uh, we come up with probability density function. Now, next we will talk about few examples. So, uh, examples before going to talk about examples there we have to see uniform and non-uniform density pattern. What is meaning of uniform density pattern? What is meaning of non-uniform density pattern? So, remember that here now uh, the value x here uh, random variable will take value along horizontal axis and along vertical axis the density will take value. So, what is happening that x is taking value in continuum fashion. So, what we have to do always we can introduce the discretization. Discretization approach I had already in introduced in the module 1. You can recall it from here. So, it is suppose you are taking uh, uh, if you are introducing discretization like you call it x1, x2 uh, and like xn something like uh, you are defining it like this way call it x0, x1 something like that x0, x1 x i and x j various points would be there the partition that we call it partition of a uh, continuous set and you are going it x partition of a set ok. So, uh, we know that uh, the relation between between probability that x is observing value between x and x plus delta and density function uh, we know this approximation from the definition of density of probability density of a random continuous random variable we had already seen that probability that x is observing value between x and x plus delta it is approximately equal to density at the point x times width of the interval width of the interval ok this we have already observed and if you apply uniform law that means you are taking uh, sub intervals of equal width then probability would be same probability of observing numbers random numbers in those uh, sub interval of equal width it is equal to same ok both are equal to so if you are talking about jth interval of length delta what is the probability of observing jth interval in the delta it is same what is the probability of sorry what is the probability of observing uh, in the jth ith interval it is same what is the probability of observing in jth interval. So, that is why we are getting this kind of thing and as per this approximation we call it what is this probability this one is f of f of x i time delta this probability what we will call it f of x i time delta and the second term we will call it f of x j time delta and delta is same. So, delta delta will cancel out what we will observe what we will observe delta delta will cancel out we will observe f of x i equal to f of x j what does it mean i may take value from 1 to n or 0 including 0 j may take value. So, like that it is saying that at value uh, x f of x equal to 0 f of f of x 1 what is the value? So, it is saying that value of f at x naught, x 1, x 2, x 3 up to x n all are same. What does it mean? What does it mean? It is having constant height, the constant density. So, simply it is saying that this one is, it simply implies that f of x is constant. So, uniform law is saying that you are having a constant, constant probability distribution a probability density you are having f of x equal to c a constant. But suppose you are taking a situation like that density is not constant density f of at value of f at x i and value of f at x j both are not equal to each other and if you multiply with the same delta what you will observe. So, delta is same if you are multiplying so inequality so here uh, this it will never turn into equality it will never turn. So, if you are taking this height and you are taking this height and uh, you multiply uh, this height with del same delta and this height with same delta what you will observe? 
you will you take this height and takes delta. So what would be uh, what would be area? It would be this kind of thing. Okay, the, this point call it x j x i x i and this one is x i plus delta delta width you have taken it delta width here and this call it x j this point call it x j x j and take again delta point so this would be x j plus delta so what would be height this so can you see that whether these two uh, area are same these two are not same we have taken same width but height are different so by default same thing i am saying that this probability is not equal to this probability if probability density are different at two different point this density would be not equal to this so that one is the pattern of non uniform distribution in continuous random variable non uniform distribution okay so in non uniform distribution you will say that density is having different different height at different different point but in uniform distribution everywhere you observe the same height so that is that uniform and non uniform distribution so one example i have taken here so if you take a continuous random variable where density is 1 when x is observing value between 0 and 1 and density is 0 when x is observing value outside the interval 0 1 so it is what what kind of density it is a uniform density why because here density is constant density is constant now whether uh, before saying that it is a uniform density whether it is a legitimate density or not for being a legitimate density we have to verify that this density must be greater than or equal to 0 so one is always greater than or equal to 0 0 is also greater than or equal to 0 so the first condition is already satisfied there is no issue what about second condition that means if you integrate the density function from minus infinity to infinity the integration must be equal to 1. We know that from minus infinity to 0, what is the value of density? What is the value of density? From minus infinity to 0, what is the value of density? 0. And uh, from 0 to 1, it is having value 1. And again, from 1 to infinity, having density value 0. So just we have to bother about integration from 0 to 1 only. Right and left part are 0. So we don't have to bother, uh, worry about that. So integrate the density function from 0 to 1 and what is the integral of this one? 1. So it is also uh, this given function is also satisfying the normalizing condition and likewise third is providing way of computing probability of an event. Okay. So it is satisfying all the property of a uh, being a density function. That's why we can say that this one is a legitimate density function. It is a, and further we can say that it is a uniform density of a random variable continuous random variable and hence we will call the rand corresponding random variable is a uniform random variable and we will denote it by x and this same sign similar sign we talk it about distributed it is uniformly distributed uniformly distributed in the interval 0 to 1 unif in short we will write it unif unif between interval 0 to 1 this is the notation of uniform distribution which is distributed uniformly between 0 to 1 interval okay like if you take another interval uh, another uh, continuous random variable having the uh, pdf 1 by twice of a square root of x when x is observing value between uh, 0 to 1 and uh, uh, if x is observing value outside the interval 0 to 1 then uh, density is 0 so we can see that this function is always greater than or equal to 0 first property is already satisfied what about second property second property is all about finding integral from minus infinity to infinity of the density function and uh, we know that density function is taking value non zero value between 0 to 1 outside 0 to 1 it is 0 so do we don't have to worry about that just worry about the integral of the density from 0 to 1 so what is integration of this one you can verify the integration what is the integration of this one you can do in your notebook and and compute that compute the it is a definite in integral now it's a computed and value of definite integral it is coming as one it will be one so we can say that it is a legitimate density function probability density function for the uh, continuous random variable a continuous so a continuous ra random variable may have various kind of uh, probability density functions 
one density function is coming, this one is the uniform density function, this one is the non-uniform density function. But always you have to verify the properties of a probability density function. Now we will talk some specific uh, uh, continuous random variable those occurs frequently. So the simplest one happens to be uniform random variable that just uh, what I had discussed. So suppose you take a random variable x which is taking value uh, from the interval a b in uniform law under the uniform law. Okay. So under the uniform law what does it mean? So that means uh, under the uniform law that means the probability density would be constant. Okay, if you are saying that x is observing value between a to b, the interval a to b, what does it mean? Outside a to b, x is observing no value. The density is 0 outside a to b. So, what would be the height? What would be the height? What would be height? Always remember that if you are talking about uniform density, just talk about width. Width is what? B minus A. Then what would be height? It would be 1 by B minus A. So that the total area would be equal to 1. We have to make the area equal to 1. Area is what? In uniform distribution, area is equal to height into width. Width is B minus A and area is equal to 1. So by default, height would be equal to 1 by B minus A. So that's where the probability density function, function for uniform random variable which is taking value under uniform law in the interval a to b, what is the density? It is 1 by b minus a when x is observing value between a to b. When x is observing value outside a to b, the density is 0. The density is 0. So easily you can for uniform random variable, easy, easily you can find density. It would be 1 by b minus a. Okay, same plot it is all you can find it here. This is the plot. Okay, now take another random variable, exponential random variable. Uh, what is meaning of exponential random variable? It is defined as uh, that x, a random variable which is having a continuous density, continuous density, and density is coming in the form of lambda into e to the power minus lambda time x. Uh, from here, the last row, just near to you get up and go out. Just get up and get up and go out. You are very much busy in somewhere, so just complete that one. Okay, so it is what kind of function this one? What kind of function this? Exponential. The corresponding and also it is a uh, is it a discrete function or continuous function? It is a continuous function and x is taking value in continuous manner. So x is greater than or equal to 0, we are taking uh, talking about the, this expression function. The corresponding random variable will be exponentially distributed and we call it exponential random variable. And you can see the nature here, the exponential random variable is having a density which is going like this way. What does it mean? Here you are getting higher uh, height. What does it mean? Points are distributed near to 0 a lot. That's why we are getting higher height. Okay. If you talk about this side, right, right. If you move right words, density is falling. What does it mean? Points are rarely distributed. The density is smaller. Points are rarely distributed. So this one is, uh, we call it exponential distribution. This one, exponential. We, it is coming like this. Way. Okay. Then very important distribution is coming normal distribution. When you talk about uh, error, if you perform measure then generally people are saying that error is having a normal distribution. Actually not individual error may come from different different source. Error is not having normal distribution. Total error is having normal distribution. Total error. So we will talk about that for later. Uh, before that we have to talk about normal distribution. What does it mean normal distribution? It is a random variable which is taking value from minus infinity to infinity and it is having a PDF which is symmetric about the mean of the random variable or expectation of the random variable. It is symmetric, symmetric about, okay. And the density of a normal random variable, it is defined in term of 1 by uh, sigma a square root of 2 pi integral from, okay, integral should not come here, okay. So, e to the power minus uh, x minus lambda 
x x minus mu whole square divided by twice of sigma square. Okay, this one is your normal distribution. It may look little bit awkward kind of thing, so it is very complicated kind of distribution. So it is simply function of type e to the power minus x square. You can call this this one is a, a constant, normalizing constant. You can call this one is a normalizing constant. At uh, this, you can talk about it is just having uh, just for understanding. You can call it it is a function having the form e to the power x square by two kind of things. X e to the power x square. So if simply I am giving a question to compute the integral of this function, can you complete compute uh, compute the integral of this one from your uh, plus two? Can you compute the integral of e to the power minus x square? There is no explicit formula. If I am simply asking to compute the integral of e to the power minus x square, can you compute it? Can you compute it? Not uh, just see again. It is e to the power x for e to the power x you can compute it. And if I give a another term, x into e to the power x square, then you can compute it. But simply if I am asking uh, what is the integral of e to the power minus x square, very difficult. And but it is it is a meaningful thing. In CDF we will come to know. Okay, so that one is error function simply we call it. So it, that one is difficult to compute. Okay, but Euler has given a lot of formula Euler, through Euler integral you can compute all these. You have to go for Euler approach. Okay. And the plot of the density function you can see it like this way. So if you take mu equal to zero, mu equal to zero, you can observe that at uh, mu equal to zero it is having largest height. And as you deviate from mean, the height of density is falling, falling towards zero. It is symmetric, very much symmetric kind of density function. Normal distribution is having. So normal distribution is very much uh, uh, interesting in sense that various time it will be difficult to know the true distribution of uh, a random variable. But, but what you do with the help of normal distribution, you can approximate the probability of unknown distribution. You can approximate through normal normal table. There would be normal table with the help of normal table. You can approximate probability with the help of normal distribution. So it will come later. And yes, those are mean. Mu is mean, and sigma square is variance. So I haven't discussed mean and variance for continuous random variable. For uh, discrete, I have already discussed. So that's a, uh, later I am going to discuss expectation and variance. So here uh, in the normal distribution you had seen two things, mu, we call it mean, or uh, expectation of a random variable with, okay. And another term you had seen in the normal distribution, PDF of normal distribution, this one is sigma square. So what is sigma square? It is, we call it variance. So we define it as expectation of expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable. A square of mean deviated random variable. The definition is same what you had seen in the case of discrete random variable. It does look like same. But what is the difference here? The summation will be replaced by integration. Summation will be replaced by integration. This is the so mu was expectation of the random variable and sigma square was the variance of random variable. So here we will see expectation and variance. So suppose we are having, having a continuous random, random variable x and with corresponding probability mass function f of x, f suffix x, then how we will define mean? Mean is actually expectation of x. And how we define uh, here mean? We multiply the density function by the density uh, x value of x and integrate over all possible value of x from minus infinity to infinity. So what is this one? So you are always you can see that f of x times d of x. What does it talk about? It is probability of observing x in the interval of width dx. Okay, it is so this term f of x times dx it is a probability and x is what value of the random variable. So you are talking about weighted integral. You call it here x is taking value in continuing fashion. So summation will be replaced by integration. So you, you say that in place of uh, weighted sum 
in discrete random variable, here in continuous random variable, you will say that weighted integral. Are you getting meaning of this or not? Weighted integral of x. The weight is provided by f of x times dx. So, weighted integral of x, we call it mean of the continuous random variable x and we denote it by mu. And what is the variance? Variance, variance is a square of uh, expectation of a square of mean debated random variable. That means uh, in the similar expected value rule we can talk about it is weighted mean debated random variable and the weight is provided by this. Weighted uh, a square of weighted mean debated random variable and this is the, uh, this is defining variance. Variance in the similar case in discrete it was summation here it is taken by integration because x is taking value in continuum in fashion. So, that is way. So, this is the definition of, but this form of definition in discrete and variance uh, discrete and continuous both are same only in the process of computing you observe difference. Integration is from minus infinity to infinity. So, this is the definition of variance and this is the definition of expectation. So, variance you cannot compute without computing expectation. First you have to compute expectation then you will go for variance. Okay. So, I am taking few examples. Suppose you are taking a uniform random variable where x is observing value between a to b in uniform fashion. What does it mean? Easily you will say that it is having a density when is someone is saying that x is observing value uniformly in the interval a to b then simply you will say that what is the density of this one? Density of this one is equal to 1 by b minus a when a is observing value between a to b and outside interval a to b it is taking value 0. So, we do not have to bother about integral. So, you are willing to compute a uh, expectation of uh, this uniformly distributed random variable between a to b. So, you have to integrate x time f of x from minus infinity to infinity, but we know now uh, here we know that the density is taking value only between a to b and outside that the density is 0. So, we do not have to bother about integrating uh, from minus infinity to a and b to infinity. Just we have to integrate from a to b which function x time 1 by b minus a. 1 by b minus a is a constant. So, it will come out of the integral just inside the integral we are having x. So, what is the integral of this one? If you just saw in your notebook just try to integrate x it is a linear function a very simple to integrate it. It would be x square by 2 and it is taking value from uh, a to b. So, substitute it. So, the final solution would be a plus b divided by 2 a plus b midpoint. For uh, uniform random uniformly distributed random variable, what is the mean? It is the midpoint a plus b a midpoint of the interval midpoint of the interval. So, that is way here it is very easy to compute uh, expectation of or mean of a uniform random variable it is midpoint and what is the variance of uniformly distributed random variable. So, again apply the definition of variance that means you have just integrate uh, uh, this integrand x minus mu whole square and 1 by b minus a is a constant that will come out of the integration integrate from a to b. You do not have to bother about minus infinity to a why density is 0 and from b to infinity density is 0. So, just integrate from a to b this quantity. If you integrate it the integral is b minus a whole square divided by 12. So, this is the variance of a uniformly distributed random variable in continuous fashion. In, this is the variance. So, which we have computed expectation and variance. Now, if you take another random variable like uh, uh, it is not uniform, it is having a density like uh, linear density between 0 to 1 and uh, outside 0 to 1 it is having 0. So, you can plot the density um, function like this way. For this function density x, here remember that always I am taking x axis as a capital X. I am writing it capital F because here cap x is no more a variable, it is a random variable, random variable, it is taking value under some probability law. So, that is where capital X is coming here and the density will come along the vertical axis. So, here we will write f of f suffix x 
and one observation we call it. So how plot does look like? Plot is like here, a linear function twice of x. So it is more leaning towards vertical axis. It is twice of x now. So more leaning towards, if you are taking x equal to 1, what would be y or f of x? 2. It would be 2. That means it is more leaning more towards vertical axis. Y slope is 2. And here we call it and outside at this point the density is 0, 1 onward density is 0 and before uh, 0 density is also 0. So plot is coming like this way, okay. At 1 what is the density? At 1 what, what is the density? 2. If you put here in the function density function x equal to 1 density would be 2. So here you will put here, okay. So, uh, this is the given density. Again, you have to compute expectation. How you will compute expectation here? As per formula, x time density of x integral from minus infinity to infinity. So, here uh, we just we have to integrate from 0 to 1. Why? Because outside 0 to 1 integral is uh, density is 0. So, we do not have to bother about. So, it would be x into x, x into twice of x. So, 2 will come out x square. Integral of x square is x cube divided by 3. And if you simplify, what is the expectation of this random variable? 2 by 3. And likewise, if you compute the variance, variance would be 2 by 9. Variance is 2 by 9. So you have to compute expectation and variance both in together. Okay. Any question? I think all these are simple computation. None. Next term is uh, cumulative distribution function of a continuous random variable or simply a random variable. It is talking about unification of discrete and continuous random variable. So, cumulative distribution function is talking about you are computing probability up to a given value of x, up to probability. So, in short, you can say that cumulative distribution function or distribution function, it is talking about probability up to x, probability up to x. What is the mathematical sign of up to x, up to? What is the mathematical sign of up to? If you say that I will go up to that, what does it mean? I will uh, attempt question in the question in the Ross book up to that chapter. What does it mean? Up to means less than equal to, less than equal to, up to means le less than equal to. So here same thing we will say. Mathematically we say that up to means less than equal to. So here uh, alternative means of summarizing the probability distribution of a random variable is the cumulative distribution function and it, it is defined as we denote it by capital F. A small f is book for probability density function. A small p is book for probability mass function. Now capital F is coming. Capital F is book for probability distribution function. It is talking about prob talking about probability up to x. Whatever x has taken already, don't worry about. You, those will be included. And you will talk about probability up to x. After x, you are not talking about. You are talking about what is the probability distribution function? It is talk talking about probability up to x. So if x is a discrete random variable, that means you have to sum probability mass function up to x. So this x uh, actually here, it is the starting point and here it will go up to x. Here it should come here. In here we will not put in anything. Here you can put it uh, something like that uh, t change bring a dummy variable like here what I have taken here. So in case of continuous random variable integrate the density function up to x. What does it mean? From minus uh, starting from minus infinity up to x and t is taking value here from minus infinity up to x and, the, uh, and you are taking integral of f of x. So you, it is a way of computing. Uh, cumulative distribution function or probability up to x. This is the way. So you are integrating here for continuous random variable, you are integrating the density function up to x and for discrete random variable, you are summing that probability mass function up to x. So that is meaning up to uh, up to x. So I will take few example. Like suppose you are taking about uh, talking about Bernoulli random variable. What is the probability mass function of Bernoulli random, random variable? What is the probability mass function of Bernoulli random variable? It is, it is p to the power x into 1 minus 1 minus p 1 minus x. 
uh, 1 minus, okay, 1 minus p to the power uh, 1 minus x and x is taking two possible values. What are those? x will take either 0 or 1. But remember that here uh, CDF is defined for uh, all possible x. So, here uh, CDF is defined the probability that x is observing value up to x. Okay. So, what are the possible value of x? Uh, simply you can say that uh, uh, here when x is observing value up to it is less than when x is observing value less than 0, what is the probability? value of probability mass function it is 0 value of probability mass function it would be 0 and what is the uh, sum of 0 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 it is 0 so that's where the value of probability mass function when x is observing value up to 0 the less than it is not including 0 up to 0 but not including 0 okay it is when x is less than 0 the value of cdf is equal to 0 when x is observing value between 0 to 1 when x is observing value be between 0 to 1, it is x is greater than or equal to 0, that means x is already taken value 0, but x is less than 1. Then what is the uh, probability up to x? So, in that case only one value x will observe. What is that value? x equal to 0. What is the probability of x equal to 0? 1 minus p. x equal to 0 is the failure. Probability of failure is 1 minus p. Now, when you say that x is observing value, greater than or equal to 1. That means x is x has already observed 0 also 1. When x is greater than or equal to 0, what does it mean? x has already observed 0 and 1. So, what is sum of the probability? 1 minus p plus p. Now, what is the summation? It is equal to 1. The, so, the largest value of s density function it happens to be equal to 1 and the least value happens to be equal to 0. So, you are talking about if you try to plot the graph, it is coming like this way. What is the plot of uh, CDF of uh, uh, Bernoulli random variable? It is 0 up to here, there is a hole. It is not dark. It is open circle kind of things. Okay. That means X is, uh, capital F is not taking value at 0. It is uh, uh, what is at 0, what is the value of uh, capital F at, at 0? It is 1 minus what is value? 1 what is value of capital F x, x equal to 0? What is value? 1 minus p. And if you once come here 1, so this, this one is the dark circle. Okay. So, it will go up to 1 and here again open circle. What is the value of uh, CDF at x equal to 1? It is not 1 minus p. What is that? It is 1. So, at CDF it is taking value uh, x equal to 1, it is taking value 1. So, here it will the plot is what? It is coming like this way, non-word 1. So, the CDF of Bernoulli distribution it is piecewise continuous function and jumps you observe jump uh, jump discontinuity I think everyone might be aware of jump discontinuity there is a jump at x equal to 0 there is a jump there is x equal to 1 there is a jump so in discrete uh, random variable in case of discrete random variable there you will observe jump in the CDF so this is the plot uh, further you can see it this is the plot. Okay. So, plot further you can see it like this way. Now, next uh, uh, CDF we will talk about CDF of a geometric random variable. So, if you talk about geometric random variable, what is the density of a geometric random variable? Uh, density of a geometric random variable it is 1 minus p to the power x minus 1 into p. This is the density. Now, you are willing to compute pro uh, CDF of the geometric random variable that means it is saying that you are computing probability up to a small x. x is observing value up to a small x. So, what are the possible value you will talk about? 
when x is less than 1 x is here what geometric random variable x is talking about number of trial till first success number of trial if uh, number of trial is less than 1 that means you haven't performed any trial then what is the probability zero so what is the probability up to yeah uh, up to less than 1 when x is less than 1 so it is zero you haven't observed any trial okay you haven't performed any trial and when x is greater than equal to 1 what what is the probability mass function you have to sum the probability mass function up to the greatest largest integral value of that this one is talking about largest integral value of that x is starting from 1 to largest integral value of that so that means uh, uh, it is one kind of branch function the uh, here cdf function it is a branch kind of function when x is less than 0 density is uh, cdf is 0 when x is between 1 to 2 what does it mean x is equal to 1 to 2 what does it mean x equal to 1 at x equal to 1 what does it what is the probability p p and x is less than 2 so nothing will come just p so p is coming here when x is between 2 to 3 then p and in x equal to, uh, okay greater than it is less than 3 so x equal to 1 p x equal to 2 what does it mean x equal to 2 what what is uh, talking about that means you got the success in the second trial in the first trial you had already observed failure what is the probability of failure 1 minus p what is the probability of success p so that's why for x equal to 2 uh, you will get this one 1 minus p into p and this one is the probability of x equal to 1 probability of x equal to 1 plus probability of x equal to 2 so here x is observing just two value 1 and 2 you are talking about that and 3 x is less than 3 so that's with this kind of thing so likewise if you go for x greater than equal to 3 and less than 4 then it would be p plus 1 minus p time p plus 1 minus p whole square time p and that that wise uh, likewise that uh, it is having various branch infinite branch so here you can see it is uh, very much uh, like this uh, this is the uh, plot of cdf of a geometric random variable you can see that the the gap is decreasing and the maximum value of cdf is equal to 1 so it is going like what if you try to uh, it, its concavity is what it is coming as a, a step function so if, if it is a step function and it is decreasing in nature it is its concavity is up or down concavity do you know or not you have prepared for iit je you should know all those from calculus all those so con concavity is measured by second derivative of the function second derivative said so second derivative would be here positive or negative what is the second derivative of minus x square does it look like minus x square minus x square what is the second derivative of minus x square minus 2 so derivative second derivative is minus 2 means less than 0 so there is second derivative is less than 0 you talk about concavity is down if you are taking a function x square what is the second derivative 2 greater than 0 concavity is up if second derivative is positive concavity is up if second derivative is negative concavity is con concavity you can call it it is down so that you can talk talk about so it is here asymptotic in nature i am talking about it will touch the plot x equal to 1 it is not going to cross here i am just uh, making it cross it should not be cross kind of things so it will just just touch something like that it is coming like this way asymptotic to x equal to 1 uh, the density equal to 1 okay now density of uniform random variable just uh, this uh, with this i will complete this lecture and in next class i will discuss so if you are taking uniform uh, continuous random variable which is taking value between a to b in uniform under uniform law so density usually you can talk about this is the density the density when x is observing value between a to b the density is 1 by b minus a constant height constant density and when x is observing value outside a to b density is zero so from here what is the cdf that probability up to x this one is probability up to x so when x is less than 
equal to 1 a what is density 0 then correspondingly density integral of minus infinity to a would be 0 so that's why the cdf at uh, cdf at uh, a equal to what 0 cdf this one is what is the this is the value of capital f at a capital f at a likewise if you are going to compute cdf value of cdf at x and where x is between a to b and x is less than strictly less than b then how you will compute you have to integrate the density function from a to x okay and what is the integral x minus a divided by b minus a what kind of function this one it is a linear function so density is a linear function when x is between a to b when x is greater than or equal to uh, b this integral would be equal to what you have to integrate uh, 1 by uh, b minus a from a to b integral would be equal to 1 the density when x is greater than or equal to b the value of density uh, cdf is equal to 1 the plot you can see it like this way it is coming like it is piecewise linear so here once you have taken continuous random variable what difference you see in cdf the difference is cdf is now a continuous function there is no jump kind of thing in a continuous random variable cdf is not a piecewise continuous function it is a continuous function there is no jump discontinuity what issue is there differentiality issue is there at the in terminal points you observe the cdf is no more differentiable at this point does it look like differentiable it is having two tangent so it is not differentiable also at this point uh, the cdf is not differentiable so differentiality issue will come but continuity uh, discontinuity will be no more if you take exponential random variable it is taking very nice form and when x is less than 0 the cdf is 0 when x is greater than or equal to 0 that means you have to integrate uh, not from minus infinity to x why because from minus infinity to x cdf is the pdf is 0 so integral would be 0 itself just you have to worry about integration from 0 to x so integration of 0 to x of this uh, density of exponential function it is 1 minus it to the power lambda time x it is again what kind of function this one concave or con, uh, concavity would be down and the function it, it it would look like this way this so it will try to touch x 1 it will try to touch 1 but it will remain behind it will try to asymptotic to 1 it is talking about so up to x that cdf of exponential random variable is 0 uh, and after 0 onward you here you see that the cdf is trying to touch 1 the height 1 but it is always remain behind so it is concavity is again down okay any question till now anyone is having any question we have already covered one hour so in next class we will discuss about uh, uh, that would be the last class we will discuss about